September 5th. Six courses. How goes the war? Well, you can tell when you start dreaming about bolts. Oh, yeah. What are the angel wings? <laughs> A lot of areas it's hard to clamp. <laughs> You gonna go in? Perfect. All right. See these notations here? Yeah. Those are the heights. Millimeters a mile. Millimeters a mile. In woodworking? In plug it. Plug, plug. All, plugology. <laughs> plugology. <laughs> September 5th, six courses. Looks like number six had quite a bit of curve. Um, can you tighten this top bolt first? On the big frame? Yeah. Done. Oh, I can get the clamp out there. How goes the war? Well, you can tell when you start dreaming about bolts. <laughs> you got the small frames. Then you got the every other one's a thick frame, but right in this area and some other areas, the frames come up and there's a shim. So you have a, a three inch on top and a four inch on the bottom. And, and because the planks sweep up, yeah. it changes in every plank. So as he drills from the inside, he has to, to write that down out here. I want to go up inside and see how Clint is struggling with some bolts, but this is the only way to get up there now. Lucky me, huh? Clint, what's going on? Charlie. It's getting really hard in there. Uh, we're just in the bathroom. There's a shelf right here, and the, the way the bolt comes out, the shelf's like this, and the bolt comes out. Oh. <laughs> Can we see that from this this side? No, not from this side. I can side. see it from here. Check it out. It's this little bolt right there. The hardest bolt on the whole boat. <laughs> Crazy, huh? But you right can't get there. it to you can't get to it right there because the angle of the wrench. So you have to go under. Yeah. I don't know if you can see under there, but it's, whoa, let's back up, man. Okay. Yep. Finito, finished. So behind the cabinets, we've seen all the good work. It's going to continue on down. And we'll have all the new electronics. The board is already built. Seen that in future episodes. We will be retrofitting the chart table into a refrigeration area, pull-out drawer. And we will be doing some reupholstering here. And of course, eventually dropping in the new fridge and new stove. You can see in here that they've painted. There's a nice new butt block. And that it's all beautifully, all the planks are already pre painted. And you can see all the new hardware. Every fastener removed and replaced with a bolt, brass bolts. Nice and safe and tight. Take a little overview of the shop. Really lucky that we have this shop available to us. And amazing that Susanna fits barely inside, huh? Isn't that amazing? Take a quick look to remind ourselves that the whole sub deck is now done, all the frames, and it's all cleaned out, ready to go. Plus all the plywood has been cut and measured and painted. But that's all ready to go, so three or four more courses here, and we'll be ready to come up and start 
putting the deck together and the interior together. Shows that good yoga stretch. Oh yeah. What are the angel wings? <laughs> this is number six. Last one on there. Painted. Ready to install the final plank. We molded this plank yesterday, cured overnight. And we took it off this morning and cleaned up the epoxy and checked, checked our new fit. Pretty decent. We'll, we'll put it up, mark the butt, take it down, cut the butt, and then put it back up and, and start drilling. You see the twist in it? It's uh, when it's on the boat, it's about 45 degrees twist. The forward end is almost vertical, and the, and the aft end, which is out by the transom, is uh, 45 degrees out from that. Okay, down, uh, there you go, good. So at the bottom, you wanna keep it in. If you can see this is more than 45 degrees out of vertical. So the bottom we wanna keep it in and then we'll work the twist in as we go down. A lot of areas it's hard to clamp. <laughs> longitudinals and stuff in the way. Now because we're, we're using the old holes, we have to drill from the inside out. So there's lots of drilling and clamp moving and so forth. Yes, I noticed here you have to actually put the clamp right on the frame so you can't obviously drill right through that. Right. So now we're into the part of the plank that was molded. So it'll bend in a lot easier because it's, it's already been there. There's very little force on it now. Goes right in. You're gonna go forward with it? Yep. Okay. So it goes up two more times. Final fit and drilling, and then. Okay, so now it's going to come down. You're going to cut it. Then you're going to bring it back up. That won't be the last time. No, because then after we drill it, we got to. Oh yeah, take it. We, we right. got to run our batten for the yeah. lower edge, yeah. and pull it down, and then plane down to that line, and uh, and then we spread the glue. You'll see guys just struggling with laying that out making lines everywhere. When you're planking down, always use the top edge of the plank as your reference to square. That way, when you cut this butt, we know the other one's square to the top edge because that's how we cut it. So you only need that one mark right on top here. Um, you don't need to be laying the thing out. And it can't really miss. Famous last words. <laughs> so you can see this is the top edge. You'll hear people say, oh, you don't need a square on a boat, but a square is used a lot on a boat, more than you'd ever imagine. <clears throat> you come square down off this top edge, and uh, bingo, bango, bongo. Uh, 
Oh, she looked down there. You gonna go in? Perfect. All right. Um, Let's do a basher here real quick. Now you see these little notations? Mm -hmm. This is bolt, 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 bolt. See, this plank is, uh, has to be shaped inside, of course, like all of them in this area. And it's quite a bit thicker than this. Now we'll hear some creaking. God, I love that sound. <laughs> <laughs> See, this helps to go in. So now we're going to go inside, and uh, Clint's going to start out. drilling from the outside in. Right. Inside and then I'm going to drill. See all these. In. See all inside these. Out. See all these notations. Screw, screw. Yeah. SS. Bolt, bolt. Some are bolts and screws. Some are different size bolts. Okay. So one of Clint's things that he does before we even put this thing up is go in and figure that all out. Gotcha. Because there's blocking and other stuff in the way. You can't get a bolt. Lots. Now these are the butt block bolts. So there's no holes in the butt blocks yet. Not yet. Okay, so you can just guess on them. Well, no, you kind of match them up to these. Up, the, up with those. You know, it's it's the Lloyd's of London schedule. Yeah. It's also a question. You know. You don't need to lay a template over that to no. make. No. Gosh, if you do, you need to. Take a few more lessons. <laughs> but. So he's going through the old fastener holes. Uh huh. Oh, the battery's going. Doug wants to buy an electric bike. Yeah. Well, they're, it's, I live three miles from here, and so my big truck, it's not good for it to start it up and drive it and turn it off. This is a very stiff batten, so what we're doing is we're clamping it to the lower edge of the plank ahead, and then it, it'll go to our marks which we've made. That'll give us a smooth uh, transition so that when you put the, the course on below this, there's not a funny sure. thing at the butt there. You, you'll see a lot of guys struggle with that. This is one little extra step, but it actually saves quite a bit of time. See these notations here? Yeah. Those are the heights. No, the height in boat building can also mean how low it goes. Okay. Height, height is anything relative to an existing line that's horizontal. Weird language, huh? Well, some of the old plank lines, when we took them, the old planks off, they weren't fair. Now, what are you looking for there? Well, I made these marks right here. I already pre-marked oh, okay. them, the heights of the old plank lines. It's pretty decent, huh? The line is drawn. Three-eighths of an inch or so we're going to take off of here. Yeah. Is a, will make a remarkable difference in how it bends and twists. You wouldn't think that little bit of... We can make, make it easier. Oh, yeah. Millimeters a mile. Millimeters? It's really? mine. In woodworking? In plug it, plug, plug. Plug, plugology. <laughs> plugology. Yes, we may have seen this a little bit before, but now Doug's going to tri trim off the, not the leading edge, the lower edge. The edge that will receive the next Plank. Number seven, course seven. It's a nice long plank right here. I think it's 18. You can see the remains of the old planks on the floor. Yeah. And uh, so before we go too much further, in fact, as soon as this plank is on, uh, Clint's going to start knocking out the port side planks. Right. And then we'll go out to the boneyard and grab a couple more sticks. It's curved, twisted, and tapered, so there's no flat surface. You have to cut this in relation to this surface. 
It's kind of a touchy-feely thing. Okay. You get to where you don't make patterns. You can look at the boat and go, well, I'll take this much out. Kind of like that. So it's, it's just one of those things you just learn accidentally over the years, you know. And it saves a ton of time because you're not sitting there with all these protractors. <laughs> now you look here, we're almost square here, up by the butt. That's because it's approaching the midships area and this plank at that location is almost plumb. We're close. See now, remember you could hear it skipping? Yeah. And now it's beginning to hit everywhere? Yeah. Now you know you're getting a... Nice. You're, you're getting a... Yeah, there's no... You'll hear it skip here. Hear it? See it skipped? So... That's all you're doing. It's just a miniature road grader. wax them because no screw likes to go into oak <laughs> so that helps it along it's a mixture of uh, honey wax honeybee wax and uh, sagebrush the, the wax it's an ancient mixture of uh, honey honeybee wax and sagebrush and, and Doug's saliva <laughs> we're using beeswax above the water line it lubricates the screws and uh, which does two things you don't heat the screw up so bad and weaken it through that heating process but also you get a true th torque on the threads now you remember below the water line we use tar okay because that is a great lubricant plus it literally doubles the life of the screw so why not use the tar above the water line because you get leakage through the paint right a hot sunny day or six you might it'll find its way to the somehow right. just somehow we don't I, really care if it's below the water line. No, because it, it never gets hot. It never gets hot. And, uh, yeah, Murphy's Law says yeah. do not use tar. <laughs> now, you can use uh, dolphinite above the water line, equally as good as wax. Yeah, a little messier. Okay. Here we're going to prepare the glue with the fibers. Mixology. Yummy. Uh, so this is straight epoxy. So Clint's up there doing the same thing along the leading edge. Yeah, he's, he's letting out the, all the surfaces up on the boat that were made to the So you know, you soak it good, both surfaces. That way you know that you've got it covered. There's just certain things you want to you want to overdo them. Now you hit the end again. Nice. Uh, what's up here? Do you bash your here? Pins. Think about that. We're back in a couple of weeks. See number seven on. Seven will be on. Seven will be on. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, maybe we can get you know Dave uh, going in the next, as you said, couple of three weeks. Couple of I figure we'll get number eight on. Yeah. Say goodbye to the folks back home. Hasta la vista, baby.